Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I am doing your 12 uh, Zodiac love reading for the next three months. Um, I will also be doing a um, situation between you and whoever you're dealing with and the three month um, prediction for that as well <clears throat> at the end of the reading. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, if this doesn't resonate, make sure you check out your other sign. So Spirit and Angels... What do we have for Saggies? Okay. Sagittarius, your overall energy is, wow, look at that. The Queen of Wands. You guys are very balanced, very um, vibrating at your highest level. You are healed. You are doing a beautiful job. Um, finding your, your center, you are, you are just looking fabulous. You look great. Um, people are drawn to you. People are coming, um, out of the woodwork wanting to, um, wanting to have the chance to get to date you. Um, if you're already in a commitment, this is just you just rocking it. If you are a Saggy dealing with an Aries, they are showing up as well in this reading, but they are in reverse. They are out of balance. Um, they could be overbearing, very controlling, making choices for you when you can very clearly make them for yourself. Um, yeah, I do um, see you wanting to break free, wanting freedom from this um, person. I do see this not making it through the first of the year if you are dealing with an Aries for this group of people. Taurus, the five of swords in reverse. So if you're a Sagi dealing with a Taurus, you are refusing to walk away from a connection or they are refusing to walk away from you. And why would they want to? You, you look great. Um, there is some conflict here. There's some things that... Um, are being said back and forth. Nobody is nobody is winning here. There is both sides are hurting because of this energy between the connection. Um, I also don't see this relationship making it through the first of the year, Sagis. Yeah, Gemini, the Queen of Swords in reverse. So um, this person is no longer um, acting so cold to you. Um, they were, you could have been blocked from this Gemini at one time, or you blocked them. Um, they are, uh, they were doing this because they have been hurt in the past. They had a relationship, a marriage that came to a ugly end and they were just guarding their heart. They are letting their guard down between you and this Gemini. Um, you guys do compliment each other very nicely. And I do see this relationship could last, um, for a long time. If that is what you choose, Sagis. All right, Cancer. You guys have the Prince of Pentacles. So Sagittarius dealing with a Cancer. Um, they are moving towards you. They are wanting to make an offer towards you. They, I hear them saying, I don't have a whole lot, but I'm, I'm willing to offer you everything I have. Um, this person's love for you is very, um, very pure and has the best of intentions. This will be a stable foundation and a stable relationship for you if you so choose to um, connect with a cancer. Um, I do see that um, making it through the first of the year as well. All right, Leos, the four of cups. So Sagi's dealing with Leos. They're blocking their heart space from you. They are holding in their emotions. They are not um, wanting to let anybody in. They could be um, confused at this moment. They don't know whether to uh, continue with this relationship or, um, they could possibly be thinking about somebody else, but either way, they're ignoring their blessing that the universe is trying to give them, um, or show them they're missing something. There's something they're not seeing about the connection with you. Um, I do see, however, with this, with Leo's, uh, dealing with Sagittarius, I do see this, um, coming to an end, but on mutual terms and, um, remaining friends at the end of the day. So we are at Leo. Okay, Virgo, judgment. Holy smokes. So if you are Sagittarius dealing with a Virgo, um, you most definitely are coming back into a relationship with each other. Um, you have both dealt with your karma and um, have 
completed the lessons you needed to complete and the universe is putting this person back into your world within the next three months um, for a committed um, union, reunion. You have been with this person before in this lifetime. Um, they are coming back and um, you will be giving them a second chance, Sagittarius, and this will, um, this is blessed by the universe, so this will last forever if you so choose. All right, after Virgo, we got Libras, the Four of Swords in reverse. So um, they're needing to take a step back. They're needing to reevaluate what it is that they want, what they need. Um, they are tired and they are not thinking um, about their future. They're living right now in the moment. Um, Spirit is saying they need to take a step back and look at things from all perspectives. And when they do, they will be enlightened to how much they actually care about you, Sagittarius. So if you are dealing with a Libra, um, they are in a time of, they need to take a time of rest before they can connect with you. Um, I do see this taking about three to four months. So this is going to, for this group of you dealing with Libras, it's going to come to fruition around the first of the year, um, uh, if not the beginning of February. All right, Scorpios, you have the Princess of Wands. So um, Saggy's dealing with Scorpios. This person kind of uh, puts a spark um, under you. They kind of put a pep in your step. They're young, energy, um, younger than you, very vibrant, very um, full of life, a lot of fun. And this relationship could really um, bring out the youthful side of you your youthful spirit, and it will be successful if you so choose. It will definitely make it through the um, beginning of the year if if um, a Scorpio is who you're dealing with. Sagittarius, the princess of pentacles. So you're waiting to hear from an earth sign. Um, no, you're dealing with Sagittarius. Sagittarius with Sagittarius. <laughs> um, this... Uh, Okay, so um, this Sagittarius that you are dealing with, Sagittarius, they are a uh, Saggy sun or moon, but they have a uh, earth sign uh, Venus. So that's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But um, this is, uh, you're waiting to hear about an, off, an offer from this person. You could be wanting to um, create a business with this person. Um, you could be wanting to start something new to create something beautiful. Um, there's a good foundation that this relationship is started with, um, with two Sagittariuses. Uh, it is a beautiful connection. This person has a lot of love and admiration for you. They love and cherish you. And this most definitely will last, um, a very long time. It is a beautiful connection. Yeah. With two Sagittariuses. Capricorn, you guys have the eight of cups. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn and um, Saggies, this person is walking away. They are um, going to set out on their own um, personal journey. They are in search of their Two of Cups. Um, and you, for this group of you, Sagittarius, you have inspired this person to uh, explore their most uh, spiritual side. So I do see this relationship ending. I do see this person walking away, but I do see you remaining in. Um, with a good connection to this person, um, remaining friends, uh, talking to each other about your spirituality. It's a very beautiful connection. So I don't see it as a love relationship anymore. I do see it ending, um, within the next, uh, four to eight weeks, but you guys will still remain, uh, good friends. So very beautiful energy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Aquarius, you guys have the nine of pentacles in reverse. So Saggies, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, they're coming out of a time of being single. They don't want to be single anymore. They want you. Um, this person is very, um, very well-rounded. They have their stuff together. They're, they're loving, they're nurturing. They got a stable, um, income. They're, their morals, their values, everything is on point. So if it's an Aquarius that you want, uh, an Aquarius you can have. And this relationship is a beautiful connection as well. And will um, this is a, this is a life partner energy for some of you. And, and this will uh, make you happy for many, many years to come. This person is 
a great counterbalance to you. You guys make an amazing couple. And Pisces, the Prince of Swords. So this person is going to come in very fast, sweep you off your feet. Um, they, they are a fly by the seat of your pants type of person. You love that energy. Um, as Sagis, you guys love to be here, there, and everywhere as well. Um, I see lots of traveling for you guys. Um, very successful in this relationship as well. Having new adventures, um, just having fun in everyday life. So this is a positive uh, relationship for you guys as well, for those of you connecting with a Pisces energy. But overall, Sagis, no matter what or who you're connecting to, you, my friends, are just in a beautiful place in your life right now. You have healed. You have successfully conquered your inner demons. You have successfully healed your hurts and you are successfully moving forward. Very attractive, very um, magnetic to uh, those people who are in search for a partner. So very beautiful energy for Sagittarius. I'm so proud of all of you because um, Sagittarius has had a shit storm of a deal in love for the last three, five years, three to five years, especially, you know, 10 years ago, even I just had been on the downside of the luck on the love. Um, this next reading, it is for the collective, um, the, those who need to hear it. So it will not resonate with everybody. So make sure you check your moon, uh, rising and Venus. Uh, for this section, because it will not fit for everybody. Your first card is going to be you, Sagis. Second card is the person that you're thinking about or in a relationship with. Third card is your shared energy. And uh, the bottom of the deck is your three-month prediction from Spirit. All right. Sagittarius, you guys are, I bet you'll never guess, the Four of Wands. So... Okay, your person's card is the death. The shared energy is the page of pentacles or the princess of pentacles. I'm sorry, in reverse. I just had to peek. Sorry. Okay, so um, with as many positive uh, relationship connections that are possible for you guys, I was not shocked to have the four of wands come out um, for you guys. I am going to pull a clarifier on this. Uh, on this major arcana here. All right. Bottom of your clarifying deck is the Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign energy, very loving, nurturing, whoever this person may be for you. Okay, so um, right now you guys are hoping for a connection. Um, the Four of Wands came out in reverse. So the Four of Wands is here for you. Like I've said um, before in my readings, just because it's in the reverse doesn't mean it's not coming for you. If it's in reverse to me, it is here for you, but things have to happen in order for it to turn in the upright, but it's still here. It's showing up in your uh, reading. So that means this energy is very close to um, manifesting. So you are very close to coming into um, a committed, stable, loving relationship built on a solid foundation and something that you can build on the rest of your life without worrying about it crumbling. Um, you have been fighting for this connection for quite some time. I'm seeing anywhere from nine months to uh, nine years you've been in separation. Uh, this is a twin flame uh, soulmate connection. The four of wands for me um, in this kind of reading is a uh, soulmate connection because you got the 1111 on both sides. Um, so this soulmate, this twin flame is coming in for you. This is your energy. You are waiting for this and you are defending your connection to this person. You may not be saying it out loud or telling anybody about it, but within your heart, um, you are keeping that connection, um, alive. You may be not waiting, physically waiting anymore. You are moving forward but you are not um, giving up on this connection just yet. The person that you are waiting on, your soulmate, Twin Flame, they are going through a transformation period as we speak. They are um, shedding the old self. They are getting out of ego. They are, um, yeah, they're stepping into their new path. 
uh, this is also a spiritual rebirth. They are uh, awakening to the spiritual connection the two of you share. And this person is waking up to realize that you are everything they want, everything they hope for. They have more love and admiration for you that they have ever felt for anybody um, that they've ever come into contact with. And they couldn't imagine their life without anybody else. So they are spiritually awakening. They are going through a spiritual rebirth. They are transforming. They are transitioning. They are whatever you want to call it. They are shedding the old them and they are being spiritually awakened, enlightened to the love that the two of you share together. This, the love they have for you is just absolutely amazing. Um, the princess of Pentacles is here in reverse. So you are waiting or they are waiting, one of the two, for a uh, message to um, come in about this connection, about this relationship. You could be waiting for your this person to leave an earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, or an Aries. But um, the main energy of this is you're waiting to hear from this person that they have been awakened to this connection, that they have stepped into that path they're meant to be walking, and they are now vibrating at a level that will not um, deflect, you know, repel each other. They... You are waiting for this person to contact you um, and let you know that they are ready. They are dependable. They are stable. They have got their shit together and they are ready to make this relationship um, come back together. For some of you, this is an earth sign with Aries in their moon or rising. Um. Yeah, or this is an Aries with Earth in their moon or rising. <clears throat> Your guys' three-month prediction card is the Two of Wands. So at a crossroads still. Um, it's taking a little bit of time for this person to, uh, to go through the process of purging out the people in his life that, or their life that um, are standing in the way of this connection. But... They are choosing a path. Oh, yeah. And they're choosing you, the fire sign. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. So your three-month prediction is uh, they are coming to a crossroads. They are going to choose and start walking the path towards you, towards the fire sign. Um, unless... Yeah, they feel that with you, you guys can conquer the world is what I just heard. So um, Sagittarius, very positive reading for you guys for this relationship. Um, yeah, and once that person trans um, goes through that transformation, this will come in the upright with this choice of the two of wands. So, all right, Sagittarius, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Um, I hope you have a newfound sense of hope and faith in the future with those partners that you guys have coming in for you. Um, there's so many beautiful connections across the board. So you really have a choice of a lot of different great um, partners coming in for you. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.